Coming up on the uplift, fall is here to stay and for a little bit longer this year, we're gonna show you some of the best places to take in those fall colors. Then turning dreams into reality, how this playground made it happen for one very deserving boy. And a college education is now possible for a lucky group of young men. Meet the barber making it happen. Welcome to The Uplift. In this new digital series, we're gonna be here sharing some of our favorite stories. We hope put a smile on your face. It's our goal to lift your spirits for at least the next 30 minutes and hopefully for a lot longer. I'm Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. Thank you so much for being with us. A local volunteer is seeing the tables turn after members of her community give her the help she needs. This all happened in Golden Valley where a group of volunteers got a fresh coat of paint to put on this home. The house belongs to a woman who works at a local food shelf. Because she helped so many people at her job, the group decided to help her. She is so excited that this is getting done. You know, she's on a fixed income and it's always nice for them to be able to come home to a pretty house once again that you can be proud of. Minneapolis-based nonprofit ECMC Group is partnering with Hearts and Hammers to make this project possible. There is a new voice on the Packers radio network and it's the first of its kind. For the first time ever, a woman is joining the on-air talent team. This is the face behind the voice. Shauna Quinn says that she is excited to use her new role to encourage more women to embrace football. You know, for someone who is younger and like coming up, I hope that these little girls get to see like it's not just a boys team. It's not just a boys game like there's a spot for you too. It means a lot. I'm a big female supporter. For me, I mean, this was such a big deal being someone who was raised on football and being able to be the first female involved with such a franchise. I mean, it's really a dream come true. Quinn says the most touching moment of getting her new job was telling her mom and grandma about it. They are both Green Bay Packer fans and season ticket holders. Congratulations. A warmer than average September means that we've got a little extra time to check out the fall colors. Take a look at these shots from Chuck Olson, a nature photographer who lives in Tofsey. These are some of his favorite fall snapshots that were taken along the North Shore. You can see they are gorgeous. He told us there's still time to plan a trip north to see those fall colors and share some of his favorite spots. That includes Caribou Trail and Lutzen Mountain Ski Resort. Typically, the fall colors in Minnesota will be past peak by mid-October, but with this year's delay, odds are you might get an extra week or so to take them all in. This next story is proof that some dreams do come true. This is a dream we first told you about three years ago. 10-year-old Quinn Larson of Waconia was chosen to have a wish granted through Make-A-Wish. Instead of using it only for himself, he donated it to help build a playground in Waconia that could help kids like him have fun. Well, here's a look at how that dream was realized. Life can be full of ups and downs. The Larson family knows it well. Their oldest son, Quinn, fell from a window, then got meningitis. He lost his hearing and ability to speak, but he never lost his drive. I remember distinctly. When we first met Quinn in 2019, he was a kid with a dream and a long shot goal. He donated his own money to make a wish to make the dream of an accessible playground happen. I think the community raised $307,000 just to make just it happen yeah. in this small town. Right. Yeah. Add in Quinn's money and a grant from DNR and voila, what was once a cornfield is now a field of dreams. And then right. we built right. it and they came. And boy, did they ever. About 500 people showed up at Quinn's playground. The ground is wheelchair accessible. There's a resting spot for kids with autism, sign language art, the swings are accessible and the zip line. Oh, the zip line. It means that he can hang out with us when we're on the playground. Mm -hmm. So then he can be included with all the fun stuff we do. You did this, Quinn. You did this. This is yours. This was your dream. A dream realized in silence and in strength. Actions speak louder than words. The Minneapolis Barber's vision is taking off in a huge way. 
Tito Wilson is providing life-changing funds to 17 students and viewers like you made it all possible. Shayla Reeves introduces us to some of the most recent recipients. We have examples all around us of the impact of the scholarships. So we're just gonna keep it going. Take a good look at these faces, each one on a journey that could one day lead them back home. My mom teaches me all the time to uh, pour into those who sow into you. From North Minneapolis to college campuses, they're pursuing their passions. Just being able to go to Howard University is like a dream. The cost of dreaming big can add up. Still, the dollars are rolling in. I'm happy to be in a position to give. Tito Wilson is the owner of Wilson's Image Barbers and Stylists and the founder of the Wilson's Image College Scholarship Program launched in 2018. There's relationships that are being built and it's continuing and it's impactful, you know? And every year that we're able to give more scholarships out, you know, people say, oh, I can continue to contribute to that. When I was younger, like, Three years old, maybe he was cutting my hair and everything. For the first time since the program started, a scholarship class includes all young black men. It means a lot considering he actually knows who I am and it's not just like a big scholarship organization. Like he actually knows me and that personal connection even makes me feel better about the scholarship knowing that he has that faith in me. I've always been the kid that's been told like, oh, you're going to make it, da da da, like you. Um, are going to be the one to do these great things, etc. So it's cool that to see that same support even outside of my own like family. I'm getting help from someone that's in my community that shares experiences that can uh, I can actually walk up to and shake hands with. A hand that believes in the person they're each destined to become. What's well, an amazing feeling to be able to give back to these young men. I mean, and you know, listening to them, you should be able to tell the reason why they were chosen. But a lot of people pour in. You know what I mean? And they look at me like, you know, hey, Tito's doing this really great thing. But, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't exist if it wasn't for people believing in me and believing in the community and, you know, wanting to see a better community for us. Shayla Reeves, WCCO 4 News. Coming up, the story of tragedy told through a new lens. See the book helping kids understand the power of justice and community.